Hey guys, it's Danny. Okay, so today we're gonna discuss about foliar feeding because I did get some questions regarding it, if I use it, what I think about it, and so on. So first of all, if you don't know what foliar feed means, well, it implies you spraying the leaves with a fertilized solution because orchids can actually absorb nutrients through the leaves as well, or at least some people suggest they can. So first of all, I'll tell you why I don't do it and probably never will in my setup, and then I'll try to give you some more information about it because if you do want to foliar feed your orchids, at least you make an informed decision and you have some stuff to research because it's quite tricky. Okay, so I don't foliar feed for pretty obvious reasons. I grow my orchids in pots as you can see. Now foliar feeding implies you spraying the foliage. And because of the way I grow my orchids, the water will accumulate in crowns, in between the leaves and so on. This, however, might not be a problem for those of you who grow orchids mounted on a side perhaps and water would just slide off the leaves. Also, maybe you grow your orchids outside or in a very, very, very ventilated environment. I don't know. If you can make sure that water does not stay in the crowns trapped, then you're probably good with this. But this is the main, main reason why I don't foliar feed. It's too risky in my setup. I already had too many crown rots in the battle with spider mites, so I really want to avoid that. However, it doesn't mean you should not do it, but you kind of need to do it correctly. So first of all, applying the fertilized water on the surface of the leaves will pretty much mean nothing, because the leaf is protected by a strong cuticle. Now underneath the leaf you will find the breathing mechanisms of the orchids, called the stomatas, which can make the gas exchange but also can pick up nutrients. So the first issue will be to fold your feet underneath the leaf, not on top. Well, this was easy enough, mm, things get a little bit complicated. Okay, so for what I'm about to say, I'll share with you in the description below some articles that contain a better explanation that I can provide, so you can research that further, but I'll just give you the gist of things. Now, epiphyte orchids have a pretty special way of doing gas exchange. Now, as we all know, many, many plants absorb CO2 during daytime. Well, there are orchids which do so in the nighttime. They open their stomatas not during the day, but during the night time. Why do they do that? Well, to conserve water inside the leaf. So actually, they prevent water loss through this procedure. These orchids and some other plants have been named CAM plants. And as I was saying, you have the definition in the article in the description below. Now, it has been observed that orchids with thicker leaves tend to do this rather than orchids with finer leaves. So things like cattleyas and phalaenopsis and vandas and usually plants which are found at lower elevations are prone to be cam plants or in our case cam orchids. Things like miltoniopsis, draculas and other stuff which have finer leaves are placed in a different category called C3 and they actually open their stomatas during daytime, not nighttime. However, there appears to be more cam orchids than C3 orchids. So what does this have to do with foliar feeding? Well, if the stomatas are closed, they cannot absorb nutrients. So presumably, if we foliar feed a cam orchid during daytime, it's pretty useless because it will not absorb anything. We need to do it at night. Or at least this is the conclusion I draw from the articles, if they are correct. Now you can see the problem with this. It's a bit risky if at night time temperatures in your environment drop because this will make water evaporate slower, it can get trapped into the leaves and actually lead to some rotting and other infections. However, if you are safe to do this, just keep it in mind, research it, see what the CAM and C3 is all about because we might actually foliar feed very wrongly if we foliar feed during daytime and not nighttime. Alrighty, now about the nutrients they can actually pick up. It appears that not all nutrients can pass through the leaf and through the stomata. Usually micronutrients will pass, such as iron, boron and all of those fun stuff. However, macronutrients cannot pass. And the macronutrients are nitrogen, potassium and phosphorus, but also calcium and magnesium. And this is because the molecules of macronutrients are too large to actually go through the stomata. 
Again, you have an article about this in the description below. So this might give you an idea about the type of fertilizer you're gonna use. If you want to use a macronutrients only foliar feed, then it might just be useless. The orchid might just not absorb anything. However, if you want to supplement micronutrients, it might prove to be better and the nutrients might actually be absorbed by the leaf. And actually, it has been observed that orchids can actually pick up nutrients through their leaves. However, just the micronutrients. However, even with the people who do foliar feed, the bottom line is foliar feed cannot replace root feeding. So it's just a supplemental thing or maybe if you have a sick orchid, it might help it. I'm not sure about the degree. It's up to you to try it out, actually. I never tried it. I never considered it necessary, but it doesn't mean it doesn't help. Also in the description, I will share with you an article that I found with an ingenious way to actually foliar feed by using a fogger. You'll see everything in the description. So I hope all of these gave you some ideas to research and to help you make an informed decision and a correct foliar feed if you wish to. Thank you for suggesting this video. If you have other topics you'd like me to talk about, just leave me a comment down below and I'll try to make a video. Alrighty, so if you'd like to see more orchid videos from me, simply subscribe to my channel. I post on a daily basis. Also, feel free to leave me questions or suggestions for videos. As I was saying in the comment section, I always check it. If you ever want to send me a letter, you can do so at the address you see on the screen and also in the description below. If you click on the left side of your screen, you're gonna be directed to orchidnature.com where you'll find care sheets, identification sheets and also you can talk to us in the forum section and on the right side of your screen you can click to watch another orchid video. Thank you for joining, I'll see you next time, bye!